All right, guys, we're back here at Moment Y Block today, and we're building our better 312 out of a 292. And so it's rotating assembly day. We're here to show you all of the things about this particular project that are a significant improvement over doing it the old way. So back in the day, if you wanted a 312, your best option was to hunt down a 312 and rebuild one and then you had a 312. But, you know, the 312s were only made for a few years and they are not that easy to find anymore and they're pretty expensive if you can find them at all. So along the way, uh, people would try to stuff the 312 crankshafts into 292s but you also had to modify it. 312 crankshafts did not just drop into 292 blocks. To make a 312 crankshaft fit in a 292 block, some modifications have to be performed. The first thing is, is you had to grind down the mains. 312 mains had roughly two and five eighths main journals and the 292s are two and a half inch. So you had to grind an eighth of an inch off of the mains to make them drop into a 292. But you also had to modify the rear main seal area. You had to grind down the rear main seal area to 292 spec. And then you also had to grind down the slinger area to 292 spec. So they weren't just a direct bolt-in. Okay, and 312s had the shorter connecting rods. They were 6250 long, roughly 6254 versus the 6324 the 292 so you had to find the crank modify it you had to find the connecting rods and then you could actually install the larger stroke rotating assembly in your 292 okay so one of the main reasons we prefer to do this modification using a 292 in the modern era is that the crankshaft is significantly lighter it's it's about five to five and a half pounds lighter than a 312 and that's something that we feel gives you a performance advantage not only in acceleration and deceleration but just better handling of the car um this particular piston we went and found an original oem 312 piston standard bore and this piston and pin weigh 730 grams. So um, it's not very light in the modern era, but the really sad part of this is that this is a better looking lighter weight piston than the modern cast replacements available today. The original 312 connecting rod is a relatively inefficient design when it comes to strength to weight ratio. The rods weigh right around 650 grams and they're probably really only capable of 350 horsepower. Um, these rods are known for being very weak in the beam design. All right, so let's talk about what we're using for our better 312. We're starting with an EC crankshaft. These started out in 1955 in 272s, first year of the 3300 stroke, and they went all the way to the end of production in 1964. So they're very easy to come up with. By far uh, significantly more affordable and much more obtainable than a 312 crank okay then we move on to the piston design uh, we're now using a forged piston and it has a total weight piston and pin of 638 grams and it has a metric ring package so there's everything's better here we're getting a lighter piston we're getting a stronger piston and we're getting less drag or parasitic losses if you will in our lighter ring package and this is something that the oems and race teams have been doing for over two decades this is not new so it's some it's a significant improvement then we move over 
to the connecting rod. This connecting rod is 605 grams, H-beam design, 4340. The strength weight to ratio is superior over the OEM design. Um, they're new and that's nice. You don't have to do rebuilding. You know, we've talked about that in our connecting rod video. They're, they're a ready to go deal out of the box and it's just a better overall part. It's stronger and it's lighter. So we move on to the crankshaft and I think you're going to start seeing a pattern in a lot of this design as well as a lot of the parts in our catalog, you know, it's important at Mummert Machine or Mummert Y Block to not only increase performance, but to reduce weight. You know, reducing weight, uh, everything about the car gets better. The cars accelerate better, they stop better, they handle better. You know, so anytime you can start taking a significant amount of weight out of the front end of the car, the whole car just gets better. But looking at the crankshaft, obviously starts out as a 292 EC. Um, the mains just need the minimum grinding because they obviously fit. They were already two and a half main. Uh, I believe this crank is 20 and all these old nodular designs like this are through hard. So grinding them down is not a problem. Um, but the big thing is definitely taking these rods down to 2 journal. And increasing the stroke to 3.460. There's no counterweight widening required with our Buick bearing rod. And that definitely saves money and labor when you do the offset grind stroking of the crank. And it's even a factor on whether some crank grinders will do the offset grind. A lot of them are willing to offset grind, but a lot of them do not like to widen counterweights. So this connecting rod is really a big help in that department. I would say over a 312, by taking an eighth of an inch off the mains and three sixteenths of an inch off the rods, you're probably looking at close to 10 horsepower in those mods alone. And that's just, you know, the bigger diameter the bearing is, the more surface speed it has. And when a bearing has a lot of surface speed like that, it has more friction. It has a tendency to heat up the oil more. And, you know, that causes power losses. So, all right, so we're wrapping it up here. So you can see we have about a five and a half pound savings on the crankshaft. We have an eighth of an inch reduction in main diameter and we feel that's about three horsepower. We have a three sixteenths reduction in rod journal diameter. We feel that's about six horsepower. We got a 20 thousandths increase in stroke, which isn't much, but every little bit helps. And then we have a 45 gram savings on eight rods. And on our pistons, we have a 92 gram savings on eight pistons. So we're talking 137 grams times eight cylinders. It's around 1100 grams or two and a half pounds total off the pistons and rods. And five and a half pounds off the crankshaft. So anyway, that's where we're starting out on our rotating assembly. So hope you guys have a good one. Go to FordYBlock.com and uh, happy Y blocking.